right now is the keepers have been working on training the hippo to enter the crate voluntarily. She comes in for a food reward. So they did that this morning. They, uh, you know, they got her into the crate and then they closed the door behind her, chained the door on both sides. And now we're detaching the crate from the support around the door. Um, and then the next thing we'll do is to actually get it up onto the forklift, load it onto the back of a truck. We'll take it out of the zoo, come around to the other side of the zoo where the new exhibit is, and then bring the truck into the zoo, unload the crate again, pick it up on the forklift again, and take it into the new exhibit. into the new exhibit and we're now going to back it up so that we can ask the hippo to back up and into the building. If somehow or other this crate, something happens to the crate and she gets out or something, she's still contained in this exhibit. We've locked the doors, we've barred the gate. Um, I've told everybody here that your escape area is to go between these bollards. We can easily run through them, but she can't make it through. So we're done. That was uh, about as smooth as an animal move goes and that was probably nine months worth of preparation to, to get that two hours worth of a move. But our goal when we do this is to do it in the least stressful and safest way possible. Least stressful for the animal, safest for everybody. And that's what we achieved here. We achieved it only because we have a huge group from the keepers who have been training the hippo so that they are calm in the crate, to the professional driver, to our own staff who operated the forklift, to our safety and security department, to our facilities department. It was really a group effort.